Each year, millions of people donate items to community-based goodwill organizations, continuing a more than 100-year-old process to assist their friends and neighbors in receiving employment placement, training, and education. Each local goodwill organization uses those donations to fuel a social enterprise that provides job opportunities and funds other important job placement and training programs to help people find jobs, earn paychecks, and build their careers. The idea for Goodwill Industries was born in Boston in 1902 when Methodist minister Reverend Edgar J. Helms was in theological school. He was appalled by the conditions faced by the recent wave of Europeans arriving to America and how there was little being done to assist them in finding employment to take care of their families. Years later, while working at Morgan Memorial Chapel in Boston, Massachusetts, Helms knew help was needed to lessen the escalating numbers of people facing employment challenges in the city. As a result, Helms went door to door to Boston's wealthiest citizens with a burlap sack and asked not for money, but for clothes in need of repair. Helms employed people facing challenges to mend the clothes for a daily wage. He then sold those clothes back to the community and the mission of goodwill was born. Through his efforts, Helms learned there was more dignity in receiving a hand up, not a hand out. When people learn skills to earn their own paychecks, they have the power to transform lives and communities. Helms believed in giving people a chance, not charity. By 1920, goodwill began to expand across the United States. When the stock market crashed in 1929, local goodwill stepped in to provide clothing and other goods to thousands of people in need. In 1926, the Methodist Church sent Helms on a mission around the world to spread the Goodwill story, stating that Goodwill is simply too powerful an idea to stay within the borders of one country. During World War II, local Goodwills assisted the war effort by not only putting people to work at home, but also collecting donations and goods that could be turned into equipment for the Army. In 1942, Helms passed away, leaving his wife Grace and 12 children to continue the goodwill mission he had started 40 years earlier. Following the war, scores of injured servicemen and women returned home and experienced trouble finding work and reintegrating into civilian life. Community-based goodwill organizations who had been helping wounded veterans since World War I welcomed these men and women and assisted them to find gainful employment. By the 1950s, goodwill had become a household name. Families knew that by donating clothes and household items to their local goodwill, they were helping people in need of employment. As donations continued to pour in, Goodwills employed more and more people to sort and organize the clothing and goods. Goodwills continued to offer greater numbers of services to help people who wanted to grow their skills and find jobs. Decades before the U.S. Congress passed the Americans with Disabilities Act, Goodwill was changing attitudes about the importance of people with disabilities in the workplace. In 1968, the now iconic Smiling G logo was designed to represent the Goodwill name and the smiles that come from helping people help themselves. Goodwill organizations continue to grow and innovate over the next few decades. In 1973, the first in many coming innovative donation center drop-offs opened. By 1999, shopgoodwill.com, an online auction site featuring items donated to and posted by Goodwills, was launched across the network. By its centennial in 2002, Goodwill had grown from humble origins into an international nonprofit organization providing employment placement, job training services, and other important services to millions of people. Goodwill determines the most relevant services to its community. Most offer opportunities for youth, older workers, veterans and military families, people with disabilities, and other people who face challenges to finding employment.
In 1902, Helms had a vision, which later evolved into the social enterprise that it is today across the U.S. and Canada, along with a goodwill presence in many other countries. His dream for expanding the mission to reach around the world continues to benefit millions of people every year, with a hand up toward a brighter future for themselves and their families.